Hello, welcome to Training Tuesday. I'm Rob Evans here at the Baxi Training Centre in Warrington. And today, what we're going to take a look at is charging the expansion vessel using the combined PRV and drain off. So charging or checking an expansion vessel's pressure is the same process. What we need to do is ensure that there is no water inside the expansion vessel so we can check its air charge. Now earlier on, I noticed that when I was working on this appliance, the pressure gauge was fluctuating and going up quite high, up to two, two and a half bar. So usually that's a good indication that the vessel's pressure is low and would need to be topped up. Now what we can do, we can use a new feature on the Combi 2 to assist us. So what we're going to do is isolate the flow return underneath, but this time instead of using a bucket and a hose to drain down, we're going to use the combined PRV and drain off. First of all, we need to isolate the appliance, closing off the flow and return, so it's isolated from the system. So we do that by turning the levers, one quarter turn to the six o'clock position. So now what we can do is drain the appliance down. Now normally what we would do now is connect up a hose pipe and a bucket and drain into that. With the Combi 2 built into it is a drain off which allows us to drain the appliance down through the PRV discharge pipe work. So all we have to do to open that is just rotate it clockwise like this. Now if we look at the front of the appliance we can see that the pressure has dropped to zero so any water that was inside the boiler has now discharged through the PRV pipework no bucket or hose. The next thing we need to do is remove the dust cap from the top of the appliance's Schrader valve. Connect up the pump and then we're going to take the pump pressure up to 0.8 bar. So there's my pump. Connect it up. And now all I'm going to do is take the pump pressure to 0.8 bar pressure. Now whilst I'm doing this, more water may evacuate through the PRV. So we just need to keep pumping until we've got 0.8 bar pressure. I've taken the pressure inside the expansion vessel to 0.8 bar. So all I need to do now is close off the PRV, okay, my drain off, by turning it anti-clockwise. Remove the Schrader valve connection from the pump. Remembering, guys, to give it a little squirt of leak detector fluid to make sure that the valve's not passing. If it is passing, guys, just jab it with a screw to allow the valve to reseat properly. Dust cap goes back on. Now we can open up the flow and return again. Expansion vessel checked and charged using the combined PRV and drain off. So guys, now we've got an understanding of how to check and charge the expansion vessel using the combined PRV and drain off in order to do that. So for further information, you can contact your area sales manager or go to our website, backsea.co.uk forward slash training.